Hey guys, so it's me, Greta. It's been, I would say, about three and a half weeks since my last video. Um, I was supposed to do my one-year post-op, but I didn't. So um, this is kind of going to be my one-year post-op, even though I'm already a year and three weeks out. So, dun dun dun, my weight loss was, I started at 270 pounds May 10th, 2010. So a year later, at May 10th, 2011, I was down to... 153.3 pounds okay that means I was down 117 pounds in one year okay this is my one year this is me at one year post-op hey hey <laughs> so I'm one year post-op you guys I'm so excited I have so much to go over with you guys um my god like I don't even know where to begin it's been a minute so let's see, um, I kind of have it all on my memo pad here. Let's see, so I told you guys my weight loss. I'm down to 153. Um, I have a lot of questions that a lot of you guys have been asking me on Facebook, um, through YouTube. Um, you know what, I really would suggest a lot of you guys to request me on Facebook because not only am I do I do the videos, but it's like an everyday support group. You know, one thing I've realized with a lot of you newcomers that you know, just as much as this is an everyday struggle for us, one thing I've learned over this last year that, you know, we definitely need to be, not only work on ourselves physically, but also emotionally, you know? One reason that a lot of us have gained weight over the time is because we were emotionally eating, you know? Um, we used food as our comfort zone when we were feeling depressed, upset, happy, like, you know, um, being in, you know, being in social events we all had one thing in common, which was food. Um, one thing that this year I've overcame that, you know, no matter what I've gone through, I've had my ups, I've had my rough pouches this year. You know, just as much as it's been a good year, it's been, you know, kind of, it's tested me in ways that I never thought I would be tested, whether it's in my relationship, whether it's in just with myself in general. I'm human. I go through, you know, I go through what everybody goes through. But at the end of the day, it's not a matter of what we all go through. It's a matter of how strong we stand at the end. That's what defines us. That's what makes us. That's what an, any negative situation could be turned into a positive situation. So I would strongly suggest, you know, one thing I've learned in this year is that not only do we have to work on ourselves physically, but also emotionally, spiritually. We, you know, I had watched an interview the other day on weight loss surgery and someone had said, you know, everybody tells me that this was the easy way out, you know. It wasn't the easy way out because I've had to deal with issues that I don't think I've ever would have dealt as a bigger girl. Yeah, you know, I was a very confident person as a, a bigger girl, but I kind of had to be and I worked with what I had. But now knowing what I know now and knowing what I knew then, I would have done this in a heartbeat. I mean, I... I love everything about my physical body now. You know, yeah, there's areas that I can work at, which I'm happy to report. Um, in July, I am going back home, and I will be having my first uh, consultation to have um, plastic surgery done. Um, like some of you know, I am going to have my breasts and my stomach done. So I'm going for my initial visit in July. Um, I'm not going to have my surgery in July. I'm just going to have my initial visit, and I'm planning maybe January or May of this coming year um, to have my surgery done, which I will also be doing back home. So that's something new. Um, I'm kind of excited for that, you know. And it's not something that I'm looking for perfection like I've mentioned before, but I've put so much work in that it's like when I take off the clothes, I want to be able to see like, damn, you know, I'm on point, you know. I'm doing it to, to do, I'm doing it to get to the point of what's perfect for me. Um, so that's something that I'm going to be having done. Um, what else? A lot of you guys have asked me, you know, what is the one key thing that you've learned over this year? Would you do it again? Hell yes, I would do it again in a heartbeat. You know, one thing that I strongly suggest, you know, I see a lot of you newcomers struggling with family not supporting you, friendships not supporting you, you know. To be honest with you, you're going to lose some friends along this journey, you know. Um, but in the end, you gain twice as much. Just as well as you're going to lose certain type of relationships, you know, um, you know, you're going to go through 
certain things in your own personal relationship with your spouse, you know, because like I always say, it's not only an emotional roller coaster for you, but for them as well, you know. They're used to seeing you as the bigger person. Now, not only do they have to deal with you being this thinner person, getting more attention, you know, there's a lot of factors that come in. It's not just a matter of, oh, I lost the weight and let's keep it moving. No, you do, this is an emotional roller coaster. It is. Would I trade it? Um, and would I do it different? No, I wouldn't do anything different because no matter how bad of an, an experience I went through or how positive, you know, it made me who I am to today. It made me a strong woman. It, it made me get to the point where I know what I want in life and I know what I don't want in life. Yeah, sometimes you have to go through certain things. You have to hit rock bottom to be able to appreciate what you have today. My rock bottom was being a bigger girl. My rock bottom was certain experience that I went through in my journey this last year, but it made me who I am today. So, you know, would I do it all over again? Yes, I would. What else did I want um, you guys to talk about? You know, a lot of you newcomers, you know, don't only see this as, you know, my page or my YouTube is something for people that only had weight loss surgery. One thing that I've realized is that you don't have to be a bigger girl or a bigger guy to have weight loss issues, you know? You could be 130 pounds and not happy. You want to lose an extra 10 pounds, 5 pounds, 20 pounds, 30 pounds, you know? We're all here to support each other, no matter how big the number is or how small it is. Maybe you're already thin, but you just want to live a healthier lifestyle. We're all here to support each other. We all deal with the same issues, whether it's weight loss surgery, whether it's just weight loss period, whether it's eating habits, whether it's emotional habits, you know, we're all here to support each other. So a lot of my videos, I do talk about weight loss surgery, but a lot of those issues apply to an everyday average person, you know, um, there's so many things that I want to talk about and it's like I don't have enough time in the day or, you know, I hate doing those two-part videos because not a lot of you watch the second part and that's like sometimes the best part of my video. So, um... I would strongly suggest for you guys to go back to my previous video and watch the second part because I do talk a lot about stuff that, you know, sometimes people don't want to talk about. And like I've always said, I do want to start making videos of stuff that we can all relate to as weight loss or emotional or spiritual struggles that we all go through. But again, you have to be emotionally, what's one, someone had asked me the, the other day, what's the one thing you could tell me overall that would make this journey for me? What is... I would say is you have to be in an emotionally good, you have to be in an emotionally good part in your life. Not good, good part, but how do I explain it? You have to be in a good place because this journey will throw you through loops, hoops, dribbles, I mean walks of life that you probably never thought that you would walk and... I would do it all over again. With everything that's happened to me, I would do it the same way. I wouldn't change anything because it made me who I am today. It makes me fight that much more. It makes me want to share that much more. It makes me want to help the next person that much more. It makes me stand up for myself that much more. So it, it's made me to what I am and who I am today. So I can appreciate the woman that I became. So that's pretty much it. I wanted to check in with you guys right now, but I'm down. Um, I just weighed myself yesterday. Because I'm starting a 30-day challenge with Jeanette. You guys can request her. She's on my wall. Um, but I'm down to 151.2, point, 151 something like that. So I have lost more weight. I'm not trying to lose any more. I'm very happy where I'm at. But again, if I lose more, great. You know, if not, I'm content. I'm at a happy weight. So... Um, I'm going to make another video this week because I do want to hit some of the questions that have been coming to me. But that's pretty much it for now. I wanted to check in with you guys. You guys that are on my Facebook, subscribe to me on YouTube. You guys that are on my YouTube, subscribe to me on, on, on Facebook. You know, Facebook is good because we hit it every day. It's an everyday pop positive, you know, motivation for you guys. It's an, ev it's an everyday positive push. Make sure for those of you that are on YouTube, send me a message on Facebook because I don't normally like to, rec you know, accept just anybody. Just send me a quick message message, hey, I saw you on YouTube, and we can take it from there, okay? So this is Greta. I'm losing. I'm shrinking. I'm past my one year. I'm going to start my new journey for cosmetic surgery, which I will also document for you guys. So keep the questions coming, and I'll see you guys early uh, later this week, okay? Bye. <laughs>